ஏஆர் போர்டெக் நிறுவனத்துடன் இணைந்து இந்தியாவில் சோடியம் அயன் பேட்டரிகளை அறிமுகம் செய்யும் சோடியன் எனர்ஜி நிறுவனம் சோடியன் எனர்ஜி நிறுவனத்தின் இணை நிறுவனரும் தலைமை செயல் அதிகாரியுமான பாலா பச்சையப்பா செய்தியாளர்களை சந்தித்தார் அப்போது அவர் கூறுகையில் சோடியம் அயன் பேட்டரிகள் உற்பத்தியில் முன்னணி நிறுவனமாக திகழும் சோடியன் எனர்ஜி நிறுவனம் பாரம்பரிய பெட்ரோல் வாகனங்களை மின்சார வாகனங்களாக மாற்றுவதற்கான புதுமையான தொழில்நுட்பங்களை வழங்குவதில் முன்னோடி நிறுவனமாக திகழும் ஏ ஆர் போர்டெக் நிறுவனத்துடன் இணைந்து இந்திய சந்தையில் சோடியம் அயன் பேட்டரிகளை விற்பனை செய்ய இருப்பதாக அறிவித்துள்ளது இந்தியா முழுவதும் பரந்து விரிந்த செயல்பாடுகளை கொண்டுள்ள ஏ ஆர் போர்டெக் நிறுவனத்துடன் சோடியன் எனர்ஜி நிறுவனம் இணைந்து பாதுகாப்பான நம்பகமான மற்றும் குறைந்த விலையில் பேட்டரிகளை விற்பனை செய்ய இருப்பதோடு குறைந்த விலையில் விவசாய உபகரணங்கள் மற்றும் வணிக வாகனங்களை மின்சாரமயமாக்குதல் உள்ளிட்ட நடவடிக்கைகளை மேற்கொள்ள உள்ளது மேலும் சோடியன் எனர்ஜி நிறுவனத்தின் முதன்மையான விநியோகஸ்தராக ஏ ஆர் போர்டெக் நிறுவனம் இந்தியாவில் உள்ள போக்குவரத்து மற்றும் ஆற்றல் சேமிப்பு சந்தைகள் மற்றும் ஏற்றுமதிக்கான தயாரிப்புகளை உருவாக்கும் என்றார் Lithium, Nickel, Manganese, Cobalt. Otherwise, it is called NMC battery. Uh, NMC battery, few countries, does it even allow passengers to use NMC batteries? First um, um, trend which is uh, forcing the energy to look at very seriously because portable devices carrying energy, energy storage in it will become the big trend. and the safety it becomes ultimate requirement the next one as we move forward most of the readiness will be most important and renewable also comes with a problem of intermittence whenever it comes so which means you have to store the renewable energy when you get it and use when it is not there then ac to dc shift or otherwise decentralized power consumption decentralized power generation is a major trend which is going to happen in the next one or two decades is already started happening and in the name of dc home meaning the the, the house all the household items refrigerators tvs light they operate from a solar panel which makes no need for having and ac this transition happened in many countries especially germany japan partly china um this trend is continuing for the, the the biggest reason for that is wherever countries there is an electricity problem the power generated from gasoline based power generation one it is polluting another it is almost five to six times expensive to generate power using a gasoline based generator as compared to solar power panel or wind mill based power generation so this transition of moving from ac to dc will always dominate with the storage device that is another trend which will happen so we talked about four portable electronics and of course there is electric vehicle all of this five business requirements multiply five times in the next 2 to 3 years the energy storage devices which also necessitates need to have multiple power storage devices and technologies coexist and one of the technology is sodium ion okay many many countries already like aircraft the entire aircraft storage technology has been totally changed it happened in boeing uh, 787 dreamliner aircraft and uh, many many countries the fire accident with lithium nickel magnesium cobalt battery uh, has caused huge damages even though it is cheaper it is uh, many people are using but the damage is continue to grow and the damage will happen in this batteries as they get older the, the the more old the battery becomes there is a property called internal resistance the internal resistance of the battery will increase as it ages when it increases when you charge so resistance means 
like you know always friction always friction means it will be transformed into heat the flow of electron is stopped when it is stopped it turns the waste energy into into uh, heat that heat is the biggest problem um, in uh, lithium nickel manganese phosphate batteries not only that there are a lot of requirements for people to look at batteries so we talked about a battery being very simple many of the device people design become complicated based on the battery technology not based on the design what we need so we need to have a storage device which has to be simple safe not only that it has to have a long life people need to use a battery for 8 years or 10 years like that so that is measured in life cycle. one time you fully charge one time you fully discharge a battery is called a cycle of life so when you say 3000 cycles so if we are looking at 3000 divided by 365 days assuming every day you charge fully and every day you discharge if you don't charge fully if you don't discharge fully it is not considered a cycle that means it doesn't affect the properties of the material inside the battery when you only charge fully only discharge fully that affects the material life okay so when you do 3000 times sodium ion can give 3000 times which is almost 50 percent more than that of lithium ion batteries today which means this battery properly handled or even not properly handled it can have a life of eight years which makes much more affordable to, to uh, because of the bigger iron because of the other material use it is more heavy when it is heavy means like you know that it gives less power this was a problem what sodium had all along currently all this has been changed with the way sodium ion batteries are produced especially in the last two years the density of sodium ion battery being lowest it has reached somewhere in between lithium ferrite phosphate battery which is considered a little bit safer battery in the lithium chemistry and lower than nickel manganese cobalt okay and it is expected in the next one or two years a sodium ion battery density will be same as nickel manganese cobalt or maybe even higher that's another one and uh, reliability so like you know uh, one of the videos we we are food if you look at it you can cut the battery when the battery is working it doesn't stop working if you do that on a nickel uh, manganese cobalt battery it will be a perfect bomb the moment you touch with the cut immediately it will burst like a bomb lithium nmc is perfect bomb because of the content of cobalt and also the content of alcohol being used as an adhesive in that because of that when you do any short circuiting instantly it will the the cell will go like a bomb and if you wanted to see uh, go to google.com.hg and look for the you know, PMD device, PMD fire and look at the pictures.